Back when I was in uh, high school and my grade school, I used to collect a lot of magical books. I was doing that because at that time it was the Harry Potter phase. Rick the Sempra! I, mean, I literally would like to study magic in Hogwarts. Unfortunately, my letter didn't came, so that means I'm a, I'm a. I'm a rejected Hogwarts student. <laughs> I did not give up and so I searched books about magic and I will become a magician. That's what my 14 or 15, 16 self said. <laughs> Better be Gryffindor! So in this video, I'm going to talk about the, the books that I've collected over the years, over my grade school and high school years uh, of magic books. So let's start. Lauren White's books. Lauren White's books are very cutesy. They're for kids. Back It was back when I was in grade 6, I think. Grade 6 or grade 5. I really don't know. But yeah, there are cutesy books that talks about self-improvement, revenge. <laughs> and having positive vibes overall into high school i actually gotten serious about this magic thingy and i purchased some of more spiritual stuff and that spiritual stuff being more of energy work more of what is my purpose in this world and what it is that I really and truly want. I focus on spiritual, spiritual and psychological work. And then I found out this, The Anatomy of Spirit by Caroline Mace. This talks about um, the human body and its, I don't know, its psychic function or the energy within the human body, the chakras and everything. If you have an illness, that means one of your chakras are actually blocked. Um, block ch chakras are actually indication that you have something in your life that is blocking that energy, whether it's relationships, family, etc. Okay, and then we have, of course, I said Harry Potter um, previously. We have the heart science of Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. This is the science of Harry Potter. Um, this book talks about how the broom works or any related technology that we are currently using that is real. It's real. It's real technology that we are using today. For example, the sorting hat. The sorting hat here in this real world is actually the, the brain scans that we are using. And then the brain scan technology is actually translating these electrical impulses in our brain to become images which is actually really cool. It discusses about... Uh, it discusses... <laughs> I'm actually losing my English right now. My teeth actually hurts. I just got into the dentist, so I can't talk properly. <laughs> the science of Harry Potter, you know, real magic in the real world. Well, magic is technology in our real world. So it discusses all about that. And then this this book, The Science. Oh God, it's so shiny. The Science of Mind. This is actually from my father. Um, it's a really, really interesting book because it talks about the mind and how can you use it to change your life. It's like um, The Secret. 
but it's more more in depth and more deep it's actually really hard to understand you have to read it line per line and just it's a hard read it's not a light read it's a hard read but i checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading this is light and we have three books that have that i really really love since i was um since i was a kid these are the composing magic yeah composing magic by elizabeth barrett if you don't if, this book actually talks about um constructing your incantations constructing your uh constructing your rituals chants blessings anything that has to do with uh, magical literature this book is actually for that i actually studied it composed a bunch of spells but i really didn't perform it <laughs> So yeah, this is the book for you if you are struggling to construct a ritual. Very, very basic book. Highly recommended. And then the next one, super exciting, is the Encyclopedia of the Magical Ingredients, which I posted on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. If you Just follow me on Instagram! <laughs> book is like an encyclopedia of all of the ingredients you need for your spell work um it is organized into letters um it's like a dictionary of some sorts so it has so for example citronella is used for a bug rip it is also used for cleansing um a cleansing ritual it is highly recommended for spell work ingredients for your rituals chants incantations petitions etc Don't cut it. And then the next one is Soraya, the Book of Spells. This is actually composed of two parts. Part one is the the concepts of magic, where you will be taught the basic of magic, how to cast a circle. A circle is just a way of protection, protecting yourself in an area to do your spell work, to build up your energy and release it to the universe so it can manifest in the real world. And then finally, 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 this, this book, this book is the whoop, the tr the key to true Kabbalah by Franz Barden. If you don't know Franz Barden, he is a Czech magician. Um, he talks about how to initiate yourself as a magician, how to also to summon spirits. Um, it's really really cool. Now this book talks about how to use incantations or magical form formula in order to change the universe according to your own will very cool stuff haven't practiced yes i just love collecting these stuff <laughs> oh god there's a lot i do have a lot these are just the physical books that i had when i was in um when i was in grade school and high school but now that i am an adult oh my god it has just increased tenfold i'm gonna put a sh screenshot here as you can see so if you have any um uh, weird books comment it down below and i i know this is a pretty pretty short video because uh, my teeth is pretty hurting whenever i talk so yeah please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos smash hit punch that subscribe button like comment and i'll see you next time Bye.